California lawmakers are back at the state capitol, and today we're hearing from Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon about his priorities for this final push of the year. Case Area 3 is Ashley Zavala sat down with the speaker today, and he also weighed in on a potential leadership change in the state assembly. Ashley? Golston, this final month of the state's legislative session can be hectic and busy, and Speaker Anthony Rendon says he's focused on several of California's most pressing issues. He also weighed in on the possibility of someone else taking his position. Those are issues we've seen. Assembly Speaker Anthony rise. Rendon says he's ready to push through this final month of policy passing for California lawmakers. But pushed near the top of the priority list is California's monkeypox related state of emergency. Uh, the governor did declare a state of uh, emergency. Fantastic. But we think there'll probably need to be some, some funds allocated through the budget to make sure that we have all the proper outreach we need and just to make sure we get information out there to cities and counties that provide these services. Rendon says that funding should be approved by the end of the month. He says other top priorities include California's homelessness and housing crisis. He's pushing for a bill that aims to boost affordable housing supply across the state. We need to make sure that there's enough housing stock online so that rents uh, are, are lower. We need to make sure that people can afford their mortgages. That's incredibly important. So we're going to remain focused uh, on housing for sure. Rendon says he's also committed to making sure gun control legislation and bills that would increase access to abortion in California get through the finish line. But with a long to do list, Rendon also faces the possibility that someone could take his leadership position. In May, Central California Assemblyman Robert Rivas claimed he had the votes to be the next Speaker of the Assembly. While voters elect members of the Assembly, those elected members choose their leader, the Speaker. The two back then issued a joint statement acknowledging Rivas had the votes and agreed Speaker Rendon would remain in the leadership position until at least the end of this legislative session. I asked Speaker Rendon what he would say if voters were to ask if this is his last month putting together policy as Speaker of the Assembly. Here was his response. I'd say absolutely not. Uh, my job is, you know, I get elected by uh, my colleagues, so it's, you know, it's their choice to make. Uh, but, you know, I was elected uh, for, for Speaker for this term, and, uh, I, and, and this is not my last month. You intend to continue being speaker, is that my understanding, even yeah. even through this upcoming election after? Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I intend to continue. Nice. Now, in response to Rendon's comments, Assemblyman Robert Rivas told us the two met in June to talk about a transition of power and that Rivas says he looks forward to the will of the majority of the Democratic caucus being heard.